What's good, team exclusive, and welcome back to some more FIFA 21 content. Today, we are doing something a little different. Uh, hopefully, it should be good fun. Um, it is a prediction of, I'm gonna do, I've done 15 players. Obviously, it might be 11 players of team one, but I've done 15 uh, prediction players of who I think is gonna make it into the what if promo. Now, this is obviously going off a lot of assumptions. We don't know any information about the, the promo besides when it's arriving. Um, we're going off the assumption that it's going to be a promo of loads of players that uh, had a potential but never really fulfilled that potential. Um, so I've tried to choose 15 players that don't already have special cards that were meant to be great but also never really turned out to be anything too special. Um, and a few controversial ones, a few controversial ones, which will come at the end. So if you want to see that and spark a bit of a debate, then obviously do wait till the end. But yeah, it was actually quite difficult um, choosing a lot of these players because not only was I trying to go off, I know EA doesn't really care about it too much, but I wanted to choose players that don't have special cards in the game already, uh, or at least try not to, and choose some interesting ones. There's quite a lot of Premier League ones, unfortunately, just because, um, I don't know, that's all, all the ones I could really find. I may have missed some people when I... I, I, I don't know. There's quite a few that weren't in the game, actually. So a few people that weren't actually in the game were like um, Karesma, we had Goetze, Mario Balotelli, and then, of course, uh, Alexandra Pato, which uh, all of them would have made it into this promo if it is uh, the uh, whole players that didn't fulfill the potential. Of course, it could be. Um, this promo could be about players that, you know, could have played in different positions and all that kind of stuff, or what if... Uh, Certain players were taller or had more pace or less strength or played, yeah, like I said, played in different positions than they currently are. So if, if it is anything but players that didn't fulfill the potential, then this video is a complete waste of time and you can pretty much ignore it. So now, obviously, if you play FIFA, you may have already seen this screen um, on the loading screen, which shows two players. Now, hopefully, um, hopefully it isn't just two players because that'll make it very, very boring, this promo. So... Um, hopefully there's a team one and team two. Like I said, we don't know any information about this promo just yet. So who knows what there will be, what players will get or what anything will happen. Um, I don't know. I really, really don't know too much. But uh, yeah, like I say, I've got 15 predictions of players that I think didn't reach their full potential um, and actually had somewhat of a potential anyway. So starting off, we've got five picks now I want to say that this card design is oh this card design is very it's sexual this card is very sexual um it just I don't know I love the the pink the purple just everything kind of blending in together this kind of like cross thing whatever's going on there look it just looks so so good um and I can't wait to be honest I can't wait to see what it's actually going to be to be honest because it's kind of a mystery and it, it's something brand brand new um, hopefully EA do a bit more with the whole player objectives, maybe, you know, milestones, not just focus on putting these players in packs and hoping that we'll spend all our money on the packs to get them. That would be sad. That would be sad. Anyway, let's jump straight into this with the first one, which is Jack Wilshere. Now, I think he's a bit of a shoo-in. Um, as long as EA don't shat the, uh, shit the bed, then uh, I think he's a bit of a shoo-in because... Back in his Arsenal days, he was he was class. Uh, again, you could say Kazola could be in, in a shout for this. I haven't put him in, but he could be in for a shout. Um, injuries really just stunted this man. It, it really was down to injuries, just killing his career pretty much. Um, I think if he didn't have so many injuries, he could definitely have been up there. Has been probably world class. He was he was great, really really good. So a bit of a shame, but either way, that card looks oh, it looks it looks good. 89 rated. Um, I can't see, I mean, I think EA is going to have to make them all quite high rated to make them desirable and actually usable in-game. Uh, who knows? But yeah, 89 rated. Um, bear in mind, obviously, the rating and the stats are all just kind of, you know, made up. I don't know. So I've just predicted pretty much. And, you know, we'll see see what we get right and we'll get wrong. But I've given him an 89 rating. Pretty heavy boost since his uh, 76 rated um, non-rare card. So, yeah, 89 rated. Um, it's got brilliant stats so he will be incredible um the next one is baki yoko very interesting one because i always believed and from what i heard he was going to be like the next kante obviously playing at chelsea um but he just never really materialized into anything like that so yeah he just kind of petered off the map unfortunately either way that card looks disgustingly good 
Uh, of course, it'll be millions of coins, but uh, yeah, disgustingly good. Um, the third one today is rolling back the years. Now, of course, going back to 2014, this guy had the world at his feet pretty much. Uh, it is, of course, a choa. I think if you look back at his performance in the 2014 World Cup, it shows that he was uh, ridiculous. He was probably up, up there in the top three goalkeepers of the World Cup, in my personal opinion. I think he uh, cemented himself as being incredible. Then he got a move somewhere else, just like James Rodriguez. Um, he got a move to a, a decent club. And just it just never really happened. He just kind of fell off the map, unfortunately. Either way, I have no idea how you'd link this guy. I have no idea like how you'd ever play him in a team unless you use icons. The next one, I think, is mildly controversial. It is Theo Walcott. Now, it's controversial because did this guy ever really have that much of a potential um, to be really, really great is up for debate. Um, I always think at, or I always thought at Arsenal he was going to be incredibly good, but it just never really turned out. Again, I don't know. I think it may have been down to injuries again. Uh, he was one of those type of players, wasn't he? He just got injured quite easily. So I don't know. He just or just didn't get played. I know he didn't get played a lot at Arsenal, uh, which is unfortunate because I always thought he was really good. Um, I always thought he was really good, but yeah never really happened so I've stuck him in there I thought that he had somewhat of potential but never really never really got to it so um but yeah that card either way would be disgustingly good um disgustingly good the next one is again slightly controversial but I think he's somewhat warranted it is Alexi Sanchez um this guy when he moved from Barca to Ars uh, Arsenal um he he appeared as being it kind of just took the team on his back really pretty much and he was just incredible like if you watch some of the the replays of him actually playing at Arsenal he was ridiculously good um some of the goals he scored were just nutty like I always remember that one classic one where he, he just ran uh ran down the left wing kind of just cut inside a little bit and saw the goalkeeper off his line just casually just chipped straight over the top and it was just it was mangasmic it was incredible um but then once he joined Manchester United um Everything kind of just, I don't know, he just didn't really perform the same, which is really weird because, you know, I don't know. It must, I don't know. I, I really don't know what, what went wrong, to be honest. I know he said he hated Manchester United and wanted to leave after like three days. Um, yeah, so strange, strange, strange stuff. Either way, having a 92 rated striker, Sanchez. I put my striker because I couldn't find any other strikers. Um, I don't know. I just couldn't think of anybody. So... Let me know, also, let me know if you think, um, or anybody you know that could potentially make it into this promo. I'd love to do, I don't know if I've already said this or not, but I'd love to make like a, maybe a Team 2 prediction with some of your ideas. Um, and I've got a few other ones that I've missed out and haven't put in because I didn't want to put too many Prem or whatever players in. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below. The next set is, um, I've got a few controversial ones, but I think a few that are warranted. Uh, we've got the first one, which is James Rodriguez. Now, again, this is probably me just more of me just wanting uh, this guy, you know, as a usable card. Really good pace upgrade, like his shooting passing. That would just be nutty. Nutty good player. But I always think, like, you know, obviously going back from the World Cup, where he really cemented himself as this world-class player, supposedly to be, he got moved to Real Madrid. Um, I don't know if he got played that much, but he, did, he just never really seemed to perform. To, to a really high level standard then of course moved to Bayern which he did quite well um same with like Coutinho and stuff like that so he did quite well at, at Bayern but uh yeah he never seemed to really fill the potential that I think he put on himself maybe more than what people actually said of him but I think either way um having a really high rated Hammers Rodriguez card would be so so sick so sick the next one is debatable because I've got Fred now, again, Fred is one of those that, is it too soon to say that he hasn't feel, fulfilled his potential? Did he have a potential to fulfill? Like, when he came from Shakhtar Dines, uh, did he, was he ever going to be like this world-class player? Was he Was he meant to be this world-class player? I don't know. So, I, I don't know. But I, I put him in there. So, I think, you know, one, it would be a really nice card, make him really usable, be fun. And potentially, potentially did have a potential to become potentially potential. So I don't know. I don't know. But uh, he's a debatable one. Debatable. Debatable. Uh, the next one is Bojan. Bojan. He was always somebody I couldn't find a picture at um, 
at Montreal, so that's going to have to do. Um, yeah, he was always meant to be a really good player um, back in the Prem, and then he moved away, and then he moved. I think he moved to Ajax at some point, and then he's gone obviously to the MLS. So he was always meant to be a really good player, but just never, never really became a world class player. Um, I think he's doing all right now, but like he's just he just is what he is, and he? he's just kind of average, just kind of average. Um, either way, I think he'd be. A very nice player. He'd be Spanish. He'd have a lot of links. You know, a lot of links to icons. Like, that card itself would be disgustingly good. So, um, it'd just be another Spanish high-rated card. So, be nice to have in the game, really. Um, the next one is another... We've got actually three Spanish players in the row. Uh, we've got Morata. He's a debatable one because, again, did he ha ever really have a potential? And, you know... Did he fulfill that potential? Like, not everyone's potential is going to be, like, you know, a 94-rated card in FIFA, is it? Um, or not everyone's potential is going to be, like, Cristiano Ronaldo or Messi or that kind of stuff. But um, I always thought he was going to be better than what he was. He Like, again, going off what, what you see in FIFA, if you look back at his previous generations, he never really got any many informs or anything like that. So he never really seemed to be this high-end player. But also in real life, if you watched him, he just, I don't know... He was it's just a weird kind of weird kind of career um, where I, personally I thought he was going to be quite good, but he just never really turned out to be that really good player. Uh, I think he's doing quite well now at, at uh, Juventus, but yeah, I don't know. Has he kind of missed the mark? I don't. I do not know. Um, yeah, debatable one, debatable. But either way, that card looks very very nice. Another Spanish player that you could link to to Bojan. Um, the last one of this set is Diego Costa. And he's, again, the same as Morata. Was he ever meant to be a world-class player? Did he ever have a potential? Did he not reach that potential? Like, was that potential what he had at Chelsea? I don't know. So, I don't know. I always thought he was going to be quite good, but he just never was. And uh, either way, he'd be a beast in FIFA, having a really nice special card. Um, it'd just be somebody different, wouldn't it? It'd just be somebody different from the norm. Maybe not this... Highly paced player, but he's got incredible physicals, good shooting, very similar to like Zlatan. Um, and yeah, it'd just be nice to have him FIFA, really. I don't know. Just just a weird one. Just a weird one. Um, yeah, it was difficult finding a lot of these players to actually put in the team. Um, but I don't know. You could say I don't know or did this guy have potential for everybody pretty much. But it's all a bit of fun. The last two, we've got the 11th player for the team and we've got the 12th man. 12th man is Terrapt. Now, I think he's definitely a shoo-in for uh, had a potential and didn't reach it. Whether or not he'll get, get a card in FIFA, I don't know. Um, it'd be a bit unusable. Hopefully, EA, if they do give him a card, it's, it's a lot better than what I've given him. Um, if he was like 90 rated with like 80 something pace, all 80, 90 stats, that kind of stuff, he would be insanely good. Um, yeah. Very, very good. I don't know if EA are going to position change any of these players. That That's another thing up for debate as well. So if he's like a right mid and he had like 90 pace or something, that would just be crazy, crazy good. Good links as well with Morocco. Um, but yeah, the last one is big man, Philly Jones. <laughs> Philly Jones. I don't ever think this guy actually had a potential to reach. And whatever his potential was, I think he reached it years back. <laughs> but I... Um, it's just a bit of fun. It's just a bit of fun. I didn't know who else to put in, so I just thought, why not give Philly Jones uh, a massively boosted, high-rated card? Because he always, like, when he joined Manchester United, he was always, what well, he was meant to be like this, um, you know, like Maguire is now, where they thought he was going to be, where well, they thought he was going to be incredibly good, but he, he just became a bit shit. So, yeah, I don't know. It would be an interesting one. It would be a bit of fun, wouldn't it, having a high-rated Phil Jones, 83 pace. Make him really usable, to be fair. Make him really usable. Um, and then it'd be nice to see Philly Jones in people's teams. So there we go. Bit different from Joe Gomez. Bit different from Joe Gomez. The last five. We're blasting through this, but the last five are the most controversial five. I think this is going to spark a lot of debate. Obviously, let me know in the comment section below if you think I got anything wrong, uh, who you'd change, like I said, who you'd, who you'd like to see, maybe your own personal uh, opinion on players that you'd like to see. Let me know in the comment section below. But these five, starting off with, let's start off with the last one. 
which is uh, Yanazai. Now, I think he's definitely somebody who had a potential and never reached it or never really never really got to that stage. Um, but he, he was somebody I didn't want to put in because he already had like an 88 rated special card. Sto storyline, is it? I think, or is it a rule breaker? I think it's storyline card he's got. Uh, but either way, that's kind of the reason I didn't want to put him in because he's already got a special card. It's a bit boring. Like, you know, if you've got the 88, it's a bit of a kick in the balls if you just, if they just drop in 91. So, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit dead. But I think he's definitely, potentially could be in there. Uh, potentially could be in there. Uh, the next one is one I think is the most controversial. It is Renato Sanchez. The, the question is, is it, is it too early to say this guy hasn't reached his potential? Hasn't reached his potential just yet? Because he is still quite young. He's still got a few years and what have you to uh, to, to actually make it as a world-class player. But when he came onto the scene, he was always like tipped to be this incredible next level, world-class, world-beater, centre center, center mid. Um, like playing in the Euros for Portugal he was really good incredibly good um but he just never really seemed to make it as this headliner player um so I've put him in there as I as I think he's had a very up and down career of obviously joint going from Bayern to some Premier League team didn't it was he at Stoke I don't even remember to be honest um but yeah he just never really seemed where he played he just never really seemed to materialize I think he's doing quite well uh in the league un but um yeah, I've put him in there. I think he's an interesting one. I think he's one that had so much potential and so much hype around him, but never really never really got there that quickly. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. The next one is Gareth Bale. He's another interesting one because has he already reached his potential when he's just started to decline? It could very well be that. The, the, the reason I put him in there is because I think he had a, a massively higher potential than what he already reached. Um, I don't think he was ever going to be like a Cristiano Ronaldo player, but I think if he got played a lot more and injuries didn't affect him so much at Real Madrid, I think he would have been so much better of a player. Um, and obviously, in FIFA terms, you'd probably have seen a lot of high-rated cards from Gareth Bale if that was the case. But I just think he, he, he was somebody who was really good, but just never really got chance to show it, if that makes sense, because obviously he didn't get played at Real Madrid that much. After the first few seasons, uh, it became very toxic and he obviously just didn't play uh, much and that kind of diminished him. But yeah, I think he's somebody who had much higher potential than what he uh, than what he had or currently had. So bit of a shame, bit of a shame. But either way, a 92 rated special Gareth Bale card would be very, very welcome in FIFA 21. Uh, like again, he'd be like four million coins, but I think he would just be sensationally good, uh, sensationally good. Either way, moving on, uh, we are going to do the second to last one, which is somebody I I just put in for fun, uh, just somebody I'd love to see get in this promo, is Olivier Giroud. And there we go. So why he would get in, I have absolutely no idea. Uh, I don't know. I think he was good. He was just never really that good. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It is what it is. It'd be nice to see finally a special Chelsea card in the game, which is warranted. And also a special Olivier Giroud um, card. Like, I mean, can you imagine? Can you imagine that card? 89 rated. Obviously not high-end pace. 82 pace. 92 shooting. 84 passing. 85 dribbling with 92 physical. Put him at cam or whatever. Or even play him at striker. Put a hunter on him and he'd be dirty. He'd be dirty good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I don't think Giroud is ever going to uh, make it in. Um, could be wrong. Could be wrong. I'm willing to be willing to be surprised. Um, but the last one, I don't think it's too controversial. I think he could definitely be in for a shout. And that is none other than Philippe Coutinho. Again, he was always somebody who was like when he was playing at Liverpool, uh, he was world class, in my opinion. He was world class. Then he he was very similar to like Eden Hazard. Like in the Prem, he was very, very good. But then once he went to Real, um, he just, I don't know, just didn't seem to happen. Again, once uh, Coutinho went to Barca, he just didn't seem to perform. Um, then he went to Bayern on loan, I do believe. And he was actually quite good. He was quite good at Bayern. Very, very good. Um, and then he went back to Barca and just, I don't know, just hasn't really seemed to, hasn't seemed to happen. Again, he, he hasn't turned into that headliner player that we all 
thought he was going to be, I think. So um, he could he could definitely make it in there. That's, I think I think my strongest prediction is probably the first four. If we just quickly jump back. First of all, I think, I think a lot of these you could see. And if we replaced Sanchez with Coutinho, I think that, that five could definitely be in for a shout at being in the team. Um, these, I don't know. I think James could... I think he's definitely in for a shout. James is. Bojan. Um, but the other three, I'm not too sure about. Um, Tarapt, I definitely think is going to probably be in there. I... I I don't know. I wouldn't say I'd put money on it because I don't have any money. But uh, yeah, I think he's he's definitely fresh out. And then out of the last five, uh, I could probably see EA going with like a Yanazai and Coutinho, in my personal opinion. Uh, they might do like a Gareth Bale just to kind of sell packs and that kind of stuff. Or maybe a, a 92 Sanchez, uh, Renato Sanchez, obviously. Um, that could happen. But be interesting to see what happens anyway. Those are my predictions. Those were my predictions. Obviously, going through it, we got Wilshire, Bakayoko, Achoa, Walcott, Sanchez, and then we got Rodriguez, Fred, Bojan, Morata, Diego Costa. Uh, then we got uh, Jones, Tarapt, and Coutinho, Giroud, Bale, Sanchez, and Yanazai. So that's my prediction. That is my prediction. Um, there we go. That is, uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun to make. I really enjoyed making that. Obviously, I, I really love making like graphics for these type of videos. I've got some other videos planned that are very similar. So do keep a lookout for that. But uh, like I said in, in the start of the video, do let me know in, in the comment section below who you'd like to see make it into this uh, promotion, um, who you'd possibly think could make it in, who had a potential and didn't make it. Um, be interesting to see what happens with this promotion, what actually it turns out to be, if it is like what we've predicted. Um, if any of the players make it in that we predicted, how close or far off my ratings were, would be quite fun to see. Um, but yeah, it's just something that sounds really good fun. It sounds really good fun. Hopefully EA don't just pack abuse it because that'll be quite dead, but we'll have to wait and see. Either way, hopefully I've enjoyed this video. If, if you have, please do drop it a like. That'd be very, very much appreciated. If you want to see more of this content, please do consider hitting that subscribe button and become part of the exclusive family. But with that said, I do hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, we'll see you next time.